for everything that we have lost and bring back what we have traded away. The cross of Jesus Christ is not just a ticket to heaven, a get out of jail free card, or an excuse for us to continue to live in sin. Rather, it is a calling for us to repent, to turn away from the ways that Jesus died to set us free from, and to live in a new way, the living way. Sadly, many people, they believe that all roads lead to heaven, that there are multiple paths back to God, or just like a mountain peak with many trails that would take you to the top, that we can live how we want and we'll all end up in heaven. That couldn't be further from the truth. Are you Catholic or Christian? What's the difference? Well, it's the difference if you don't believe You're in committed. Jesus or whether or not you don't believe in Jesus. Do you believe in Jesus? What do you mean? As in, a lot, a lot of Christians don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. They think the Messiah is the Messiah. We can ask you a real question. You believe the Messiah no, that's, that's a Jewish person. All right, but Christian don't believe in like the whole. Wait, like, can God, I ask like, you a real question? I, I, I'm, I'm a Catholic. That's why. That's the reason I ask. Are you a Christian or Catholic? Well, it, if you don't know the difference, then you know it's not going to give. Isn't it a Catholic it's, just like you uh, had to prove like work? Ca Catholic? Christian I was confirmed. I went through. I went through all that. I got. I got all confirmed. But but maybe you can educate me. Catholic How and Christian. What's the difference? Maybe educate. Me. Well, most people consider a Christian of what it is today. It came from the Protestant Reformation okay, with Martin Luther. Yeah. So like they protested some of the things that Catholics right. hold as tradition that aren't necessarily from the Bible. So Catholics a little more. Are you Catholic? Ra racist. No, no, no. A better word is ritualistic. Wait, okay. You, so it has a lot of more rituals. I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm a, my, my, my father's a very hardcore Catholic, you know, right. not a family coming to Coastal, knowing what it was all about. I'm very interested. What is it, what, what is your de definition? I just, I just, what's well, not, in my definition doesn't matter. It matters what the word of God says, right? Precisely. So there's uh, certain things that Catholics hold on to that are traditional, but are not necessarily biblical. Like infant baptism. You don't see infant baptism in the Bible, you know? What do you Catholics, mean by that? What does that mean? They, right, they right, don't right, baptize right. a baby. You know, any, any person that gets baptized that you see in scripture is that person's own choice when they're of their mm -hmm. age to make that decision. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the things that the Protestants, which are now what most people would consider the Christian versus Catholic, right, yeah, that right. was one thing that they protested. Well, we don't see this in the word of God, so we are going to go a different route and we're going to stick to scripture are you, are you instead Catholic of tradition. Catholic or Christian? I just read the Bible and then you I just try read and follow the Bible. Christ. You preach God. Right. right. Because uh, man, man can, you know, if it becomes a popular thing for people to do, but it's not what God said. It doesn't. Oh then th that means we're gonna have to stick to what, what God's word says. You know. I, I see um, you all around campus. Why so I can't came yeah, out to ask? See you on, I always see you on I'm, I'm a nobody, man. Can I, ask I you just a question? absolutely. Give me one second, So, please. like, um, in the Bible, it says like, if you don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't go to heaven. Do you Where does that? it say that? I Snapchat, honestly, Snapchat I, I, I don't. You don't not, do my number. Share. Is that yeah. a thing? Or am I tweaking? Uh, what well, says that just like on the verse there it says if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you'll be saved but what if I don't believe that well let's go deeper what if you've never heard of that right but I have right but uh, uh, the thing that's that really yeah. ha sorry helps to me up, but I have a question hey, that just hey. came to my drunk mind but listen Bro, I'm sorry, bro. This name's good. Drunk, bro. You're good, Never bro. He's mind. good. He was I'm asking a question. He was I'm asking a question. Only because I'm, I'm from Jersey. Question, My dad always used to be at the church on Sunday. I, I, seriously, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would like to talk to you. I know you're Joshua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I know you're good. Joshua. I will. Are you in a cover song? I have a serious question. Yes, hey. Okay, let's say someone's born in the middle of Africa. That's exactly what I heard about Christianity. Do they go to hell or do they just. I don't understand. That's that's a that's a wonderful question. Look up look up on YouTube what happens to the people that have never heard. My fault. I was not No, that's good. Yeah. I just want to know. My pleasure, brother. It's an AJ and Hayden, right? Amen. God bless you, AJ. Have a good night. I love you. So uh, you had you had asked like uh, which is exactly what he went to. He even asked. It was the same question that I was going to speak on. Is uh, what about those who have never heard? See, that's something that I wrestled with, and even while I was, I was very hesitant to give my life to God because that's people's idea. Oh, you just say this sinner's prayer, you believe in Jesus in your heart, and you go to heaven. Well, what about the people born in a sub-Saharan tribe over in Africa that have never heard of Jesus Christ? The Bible makes it very clear, and after all the years of research that I've done through Scripture and uh, extra-biblical study, I've, I've found that uh, God holds us accountable for the light of knowledge and revelation that we are given. So. Not everyone has heard about Jesus Christ. However, it is written on the heart and the mind of every human being of God's existence. And things that we can look at in order to answer that question, have a greater understanding of God's involvement in humanity, is what about the people that lived before Jesus came? Well, Abraham, Noah, Moses, right? They were, it says that Abraham was declared righteous because he believed that God was able to do what he said he would do. 
So there's specific general revelation and general and revelation. Before Jesus was born? He, he before. Talk, he talked yep. about the third. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm talking about So, so. Uh, yeah, bro, I went to Catholic school. So I, I, what about those who have never heard? Well, everyone has, has in their heart and in their mind knows that there is a creator. We, we have in our conscience and, and in our mind. So our, our, our mind bears witness through creation. We look at a building, there was a builder. We look at a painting, there was a painter. We look at creation, there has to be a creator. Every person is without an excuse because we know that there is a God. That's a good analogy. And, and through our hearts, not only in our mind through creation, but also in our heart through our conscience. We know the difference between right and wrong. We don't have to teach a little child not to steal, to cheat, to lie, or to kill. These things are innately, intrinsically, and inherently etched and inscribed in the heart and the mind of every human being. So from that, every human being knows that there is a God and that that God has a law. And if they're, we're just honest with ourselves, if we're just honest with ourselves, then this is what helped me realize, man, like I, I need a savior. So that's what's the direction that the the divine arrow that God has really bore witness through our mind and our heart that there is a creator and we need a savior and so they may have never heard about Jesus Christ but if you're humble enough you can recognize man I can't save myself I can't get back to that holy God and I've heard of tons of testimonies over the Middle East where God gives people a dream even uh, my mom was studying the Native American uh, tribes that were here on the East Coast uh, especially in the Northeast and, and they even have uh, tales that they would declare that that creator uh, had a fox his son and he sent his fox the son into the world, though he was perfect, to die for the creation and the people, the creation ended up killing the fox. So like God is revealing his His plan of salvation on the heart and the mind of every human being. And as someone that's truly seeking after God, mm -hmm. I believe in some way, somehow he's gonna get them what they need to be saved. Okay, so if I if I know about Jesus, I'm being dead ass, I'm being suffering. Absolutely. So if I'm being, like I grew up Catholic, so if I grew up and I knew Jesus, but I didn't, I didn't like it, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't like, uh, I didn't believe in him. And I was a good person, though. Like, you if, believe in Jesus or God? Specify. Same thing. I think they're the same person. Well, no, they're the same person. I'm, I'm with him. Who's, I'm, I'm, who's, right, I, I believe mean, Jesus is God. Right. Well, uh, Jesus, God, and the, the Holy Spirit are the, the same person, the Messiah, huh? The Messiah, the, the Father, the Christ. So, who's, who's home is heaven? Say what? Whose home is heaven? God. God. So why would you want to spend eternity with him if you didn't like him on this earth? No, I'm asking. No, no, this is what I'm So, so I'm saying, like, question. if you knew about Jesus, but you didn't want anything to do with him on this earth, yeah. why would you want to spend eternity in his home? Um, no, so, no, this is my does question. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, it does, but I'm asking you a real question, you ready? Right. So if I'm a good person, you know what I'm saying? Like, my whole life, I, I do good by people. I'm a good guy. I help, you know, whoever needs, you know what I'm saying? I'm a good person my entire life. But then at the end of it, when I when I'm dead, I don't accept Jesus as Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Then you won't be at heaven. Do I go to heaven? No. Well, that's uh, one thing that's. Utter but if I'm a good person, and I'm a good person. You know what the Bible life. says? What? There is no one who is good. Not one. All have sinned and fallen short mm -hmm. of the glory of God. Go not right one human being on this entire earth is a good human. I'm one sin separates us from God. Sin it leads to death. It leads so to destruction. Have, it leads to hell. So if I have one sin. And I don't accept God as my Lord and Savior. I'm going to hell. Right. That's what you think. That's what I know. It's according to Scripture. If you have a, have a completely pure cup, but you drop one drop of cyanide, are you going to drink that? No. Wait. No. Why? Because it's impure. The Bible declares that nothing impure will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Wait. Stop. What do you think about that? But if I had a, dr a glass of water and I put cyanide into it, and then I went to confession, and I said, "Oh, uh, dear Lord," like I was a, I was a Catholic when I was younger, right. and I was like, "Oh, dear, are you videoing?" And I was like, dear Lord, uh, I like forgive me, I've sinned, blah, 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 confession, you know what I'm saying? Right. Then I go to heaven. Well, the Bible says that if we repent, so confession is the first aspect, but yeah. we got to change. Mm -hmm. If we go to the priest and confess our sin, which the Bible doesn't necessarily say we need to go to a priest, it just says confess your sin to one another. But if we go to that, that priest and confess our sin, knowing that this evening we're going to go to the bar and get it absolutely blasted, and then just, uh, well, on Sunday, like uh, tomorrow, I'm just going to go right back to confession. Yeah. That's like a husband going home to his wife. Honey, honey I'm never going to cheat on you again. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm never going to go out with that woman again. You know, would you please forgive me? Right. Oh, yeah, I, I forgive you, you know? And then he just goes back and continues to repeat the same pattern. Yeah. Eventually, his words are going to be worthless. Right. That is, his apology isn't going to mean much. Mm -hmm. And so God calls us to repent. And so that's to confess our sin and to turn from it you know, to change. If there's no change involved, then it wasn't really genuine. It wasn't real. So if you love God, you're going to do what honors Him. Are we going to struggle along the way? Absolutely. There's going to be temptation, but the, the closer you grow to Jesus Christ, the less you will sin and the worse you'll feel about it. And you aren't, and I are not going to get to heaven because we gave our life for God. The only way someone gets to heaven is because we understand and respond to the truth that He gave His life for us. And you're a 
I just love Jesus. Saved by God's grace. I follow Christ. Yeah. What does that mean? He's a Christian. Christian? Yeah. But now, as I had addressed that young man before, mm -hmm. many people don't understand what a Christian is. Christian was actually a, right. a derogatory term given to those that followed Christ in the church of Antioch is when people first called them Christians, it was meant to make fun of them. Mm -hmm. And they were originally called just followers of the way because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. No one comes to the Father except through me. So to be like Christ is really what Christian means. So I can believe in the Bible. I could quote you every single scripture. I could come out and preach. But if I go home and, and, I, and I... There you go. I'm talking to him. Here and if go. I disrespect my wife, if I'm not a faithful father to my children, if I'm a, you have a, a good, bad steward of my job, then I'm not really a Christian. Right. You know? Do uh, you have a girlfriend? No, sir. Have you ever had sex? No. You've never had sex? No. Nope. So you're waiting some marriage? I'm sorry? You're waiting some marriage? Like, to have kids? Yes. To have sex? Yes. So you're waiting until you have, like, one wife until you have sex? Right. Because that's so, what God calls us to. Right. And in the long run, I know in your heart, you know that's the better way. But it's asking, harder here on a campus where there's so right. much temptation. 100%. But imagine the joy of one day being able to look your little daughter in the face mm -hmm. and tell her, you but know, what honey, if I'm past that? What if I'm past that? Hold on. It would just one day being able to, we have to understand why it's God's command. He mm -hmm. doesn't try to restrain us or hold us on a leash or restrict God. He wants what's best for us. Mm -hmm. Imagine how much your, your daughter will look up to you one day if you say, honey, I loved your mommy so much that I kept myself pure and I waited just for her. But what if I didn't? The Bible says that, I mean, I did horrible things. But before, what if I, I'm asking you, what right, if I didn't, I did, right? I did horrible things before I came to New yeah. Christ. Just because I never had sex with anyone, I did. The Bible said, Jesus said, even if you look at another person with lust towards them in your heart, you've already committed adultery. So that means any bit of pornography is not only about having sex before marriage, it's just as... Oh, get out of my face! Yeah. Oh, I'm having a real conversation. This is a great condo. I'm oh. really locked in right now. Okay, go ahead. He's a Wait. Oh, God. Am I going to see you at Hoffman's? Office, office. Fuck them. So the, the Bible says that anyone that's in Christ is a new creation. I'll see you office. I'm sorry. Keep going. It, you're a new creation. So we're made a new person. When you give your life to Christ, your slate is washed clean. You're given a fresh start, a new beginning. So because right now, if I give my life to Christ, I'll have a new slate? Right. Even if I had sex with 100 women? Even if you had sex with 100 women. But we have to remember, it's repentance. And that's true and that's genuine. If people cry out to God on their deathbed, knowing that they just blast you all their life, and they're not really genuine in their heart, Remember, God is the only, I can't tell if someone's going to heaven. I can just quote you scripture. God, at the end of the day, is the only one that knows true and genuine repentance. Someone that actually wants to change. So that's between you and God. Right. So if I was by like, by law, not by God's law, but by like American law, a good person. I never committed any crimes. I'm a good person. I took care of my family, but I didn't ever accept God as Christ. Am I going to heaven? No. Mm. That's where we disagree. Well, how, that's where we disagree. How is your slate washed clean? Because I was a good person. But you aren't. Remember, you said not by God's law, but by American law. Right. There's things here in the United States that are illegal, mm -hmm. that are not immoral. And there are many things that are not immoral, but they are illegal. Like Vice what? versa. Like what? For instance, I stood on a sand, uh, set my backpack on a sand dune, and I was given a, 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 a ticket. Mm -hmm. I was fined for miscellaneous beach obstruction. Mm -hmm. That You're is illegal. This? I set my backpack on a sand dune at the beach. Mm -hmm. Footland, you were like talking and shit? It was just that it was obstructing the walkway. Right. Yeah. So I was fine for that. Is that immoral? No, no. No. I, you know? When I, but you know what I mean? When I say like, when I say American law, I mean like, I mean like, okay, here, here's my next question. Well, let me give you the opposite Wait, side of that. Can I give you an example? I'll, I'll just saw it. it can, can I give you an the, example? Yes. Let me share with this so you have a better understanding of why. There are things that are not illegal that are immoral. Like what? Are you going to be sent to jail for cheating on your wife? No. But is it wrong? Depending on your... De cheating on your wife is wrong. It says, by God. By God. Are right? you, are you going to... Do you know that... But that, by God, right? That's by... In your heart. But what, what if, if, what if in my you, heart... What if in my heart I didn't feel like that was wrong? What if in my heart... Have I you really, ever been cheated on? Yes. But does I'm it hurt? Question. It does. does. It, but I'm so is you, that wrong? It is. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying I cheated. Oh, no, I didn't cheat. I got cheated on. It hurt my feelings. But you're telling me my girlfriend's not going to go to heaven? Or whoever cheated on me? I just asked if that hurt you. It did, yeah. Do you believe hurting others is okay? Would a um, good person hurt other people? Hmm. Uh, if, they, if, if, they, if they needed it. I think that to a certain extent... You didn't need to be cheated on. The lesson right. that you think you might have needed to learn could have definitely been But I learned a good, way. valuable lesson. What was that? That sometimes you shouldn't trust the people that you're with. That doesn't make what they did to you okay. But 
It makes what they did to be human. That's why we live in a but horrible... But it makes what they did to be human. But that, not? That's why we live in a horrible world, because humans are horrible so people. So you think that, that innately humans are bad? Yes. You think innately humans are bad people? Yeah. And no matter what, if they don't repent to God, they're bad people? Did you ever steal something? Yes. Like a cookie jar? 100%. You know? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Because I wanted it. What's one of the first words that a little kid learns? Um, do unto others as you want done to no, you. No, no, no. So if you go try to steal a little kid's toy, what are they going to say? Mine, 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 mine. Yeah. Why? Because in a heart, they want it. We're, we're wrong. And there's no way unto heaven but through Christ. If Jesus Christ had not died for our sin, we can't get to God. Because all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. People say, oh, what about that innocent kid over in Africa? Say, so that doesn't exist. There might be a kid, he might live in Africa, but he's not innocent. We've all had greed, selfishness, pride, arrogance, lust, sexual morality. All of that has resided in the heart of every human being. Every person on this earth, regardless of your age, your ethnicity, what country you're born in, what language that you speak. If Jesus Christ had not died on the cross, we can't get to heaven. Okay, next question. What about Jews, Muslims, fucking, what's that that one that comes around during Christmas, Kwanzaa? What about those people? What about oh, people that don't believe in God? That's Jewish people practice that What about people that don't believe in God? Well, all those people believe in God. But they don't believe in the same God as you do. Jewish people don't believe in that God is our Lord and Savior. Jewish people don't believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. You're exactly right. I know. There are Jewish people by ethnicity, not by religion, that do. Marco, they're, give me a second. I need a second. They're Thank called you. Uh, Messianic, Messianic Jews. Say they again? Do, they're they're uh, Jewish by ethnicity, but not by religion. They believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. They're called Messianic Jews. But what about the people that don't? Well, that's why I, again, didn't grow up in any certain specific faith. And I examined the Buddhism, Sikhism, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, yeah. and I started to see a same pattern, that they would have called Jesus a historical figure, a religious man, a great teacher. The Buddhists call it, we'll call him a Buddha. The Sikh will, will declare him. But it's not the same story. Right. Well, well they'll declare him as a, as a guru. Those that practice Islam, they will, they will say he's a, a prophet. They will even say he's the Messiah. In the Quran, it declares that he's Isa al-Messiah, which means Jesus the Messiah. All of these other religions will say that he's a way, he's a truth, he's a guru, a Buddha. All these other religions point to Jesus as a way, but when you look at the words of Jesus Christ, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And that's what convinced me, because all these other religions, they're trying to get to God by their own merit, by their own good works. Remember we had spoken before, we think we can get to God by being a good enough person. Oh, I'll make it to heaven because I gave my life for God. Jesus said, no, you're going to make it to heaven only if you understand to accept and respond to the truth that God gave his life for us. If we could earn our way to heaven, the cross would have been the most foolish thing for God to do, to send the most precious gift he had to give into the world to be slaughtered and beaten and mocked and spit on and crucified for nothing. Yeah. It would have been foolish. So, but, other religions don't believe in the crucifixion, right? Am I wrong? Uh, certain certain ones do. And You're you right. think in, they're wrong? In Islam, it came in. Uh, Muhammad was born about 582. Right. And, and you think they're wrong? About 633 A.D., I believe it was, that the uh, Quran was uh, finally pulled together in the Mushaf yeah. um, by Uthman, who is the third caliphate. And all the other people that wrote down the Quran uh, because Muhammad was illiterate, he could not read or write. These other people, they wrote down the Quran on uh, animal skins, palm leaves, and palm branches. And they, they grabbed what was he was reciting. And after Muhammad died, many of these people called Quari that had the Quran memorized were dying in the Battle of Yamama. And this one man, the third caliphate, Uthman, he decided under his own jurisdiction, never uh, uh, declared by Muhammad, that he was going to gather together all the animal skins, the palm land branches, and the palm leaves, and gather one called the Mushaf. And you know what he did with all the other pieces of evidence? Mm. He burned them. For the Quran. For the Quran. So if this man comes 600 years later and declares that Jesus Christ was never crucified, even though all the people that were eyewitnesses watched him be crucified on a cross, Rainer's if you and your friend witness a car accident right here, tell mm -hmm. the police exactly what happened, when it happened, the color of the vehicles, everyone that is involved. Mm -hmm. And 600 years later, I come back and I change the history and say, no, they were wrong. It, it actually happened this way. That would be foolish. Why would we believe that? So you think people change the history? You think the Quran has changed history? Well, it's even more difficult to understand and it's even more deceptive because not only did they change history, they made it in such a way that you cannot disprove it. They said that the night before Jesus was going to be crucified, God raised him up to heaven. The next day, God changed the face and the physical appearance of a Jewish passerby or a Roman guard to look identical to Jesus Christ on the outside. That's the person that the Jews captured, crucified, hung up on a cross and said, look, we killed Jesus, we killed Jesus. 
So if you go and say to a, a Muslim, no, that was Jesus dying on the cross. Say, oh, no, 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 no. It looked exactly like so him. That was his exact appearance and his exact face and his body, but it was a different person's soul inside of him. How do you prove that wrong? Wait. There's, there's no way. They're deceiving people. And the more that the internet is becoming available to people, they're flocking out of Islam because it's forced upon you. In United Arab Emirates, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, if you choose to leave Islam, apostasy is a punishable crime by death. But a lot of times the government won't even come and do it. Your own family will. Mm -hmm. So are you really a, a, a Muslim or are you doing it because that's your livelihood, that's your dress, your culture, and even your own life if you choose to leave Islam. So again, it's all about a relationship with God. At the end of the day, He's the one that knows the heart of, of every human being. Mm -hmm. And He sent His Son to die for us. Mm -hmm. Now, if I gave the greatest gift that I had to give, and you reject it and spit on it and turn it away, and you don't want anything to do with it, why would you want to spend eternity in my presence? Right. See, we all have a free will. And at the end of the day, most people, they choose to spend each moment of their life just closing their ears and telling God to leave me alone. So for eternity, God's going to honor that request, even though he did everything he could right. possibly do to get our attention to people. Oh, I believe it when I see it. God put on the flesh, he created, stepped into the time that he began among the people that he formed, the ground that he made, and willingly laid down his life. And yet people say, I don't want so it. So you're a, you're a Christian. Yes. And so if you think that if I was a Jew or if he was a fucking whatever it is, Muslim, then we wouldn't we would not make it to heaven. I was asking that. I would just encourage you to seek after the true identity of Christ because at the end of the day, every person is going to be responsible for their own theology. Right. Jesus is the Messiah. But what so you think Jesus is gonna come and save us all? Like no, uh, so like the Messiah, Messiah like come. isn't there a judgment day? I went to Catholic school, so tell me if I'm wrong. Like isn't there a day where like the Messiah is supposed to come down and like judgment save day. us all? The, the day of the Lord. Right. Um, that's uh, what the rapture, it's also called like uh, Armageddon. Come? Do you yeah. think it's going to happen? And the Bible makes it very clear when it's going to happen. Not the date or the hour, but the signs that would be leading up to it. Jesus gives a, a description of just like a mother giving birth. As the baby, uh, the day approaches for the baby to be born, her pains, they become more intense and they become more frequent. And Jesus said it will be the same with the signs that he declared will come more often and they'll be more intense and we could see it ever evident in our society today. I believe that Jesus is coming back very soon. Do we know the day or the hour? No, he said no man knows the day or the hour. But I believe from looking at the signs and just being aware of the culture that we're living in that we got to be mindful, you know? And even that day, again, the night I was jumped, I was just heading home from work and they beat my face into the pavement just from my bicycle. I wasn't supposed to make it. I remember before I went in the CAT scan, the doctor said, buddy, you sustained very serious trauma to your head. Either tonight, the frontal facial plates in your face are going to fuse back together or you're going to have fatal leakage in your brain. So I don't share that to intimidate you, to scare you. No, like our death date could come at any point. Right. And we just want to make sure that we're right with God because whether he comes back or we pass away before, whatever happens first, I want to get right with Christ. And not only for heaven, it makes our life so much more joyous here. Like I get to live every day with just an unfathomable joy, an incomprehensible, unspeakable gladness that erupts my heart. Just like God, He saved so, me, you know. Let me ask you a counter argument, right? You Absolutely. wake up every day with a overall whatever joy you have, right? What if, like, I woke up every day with a feeling that God was watching over me and everything that I did, He was watching? Is that is that how you feel? Everything you do, do you think He's watching? Well, I know that he's watching, but is he for us or is he against us? Right. See, I'm sure you've heard the verse in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his own Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, yes, but have life everlasting. God did not send his Son to the world to condemn the world, but rather that through Christ the world be saved. Then it goes on to say this, which is the answer to your question. It says, This is the verdict that light has come into the world, but people have loved darkness instead of light, and will not come out into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives in the truth and walks in light will come out into the light knowing that what we has, have done has been done in the sight of God. So for us to be aware that God sees everything that we're doing, not this cosmic Santa Claus, right? Not a genie in a bottle, but he is a loving father. He wants to protect us. He wants to provide for us, but he hates wickedness. If we're walking in a way that is leading to destruction, sometimes God pulls his hand away and just says, I told you, I told you, I told you. And then eventually we reach a point that he's, he, he's not going to force anyone to follow him. So God is still watching over that person but they've pushed away his hand at every opportunity. They don't want him in, the, in yeah. their life. So if that's me, if I pushed away his hand every point in my life, but I've been a good person, like an honest human being, I've, I've never done anybody wrong. In so a, would in you a, honestly say that you are good? Yeah. Have I would say I would say that I'm a good human being. I take care of the people that I love. The Bible but says I that believe, but I, I am not in, But I don't believe not. in Jesus. The Bible so you, don't says that, to, you don't think I'm going to heaven? The Bible says that, that no man shall come unto the Father but through Christ. 
No, so, so you who's, think I'm who's gonna give an account on that day when you stand before God of your sin? But what if I don't think there is a God? What if I think that when we die, it's just black, everything goes goes to hell? Where's Not hell in your definition, but hell is in like it's over, black, right? It's dead. Do you believe that your your physical being is the entirety of who you are? Yes. So what about a person that uh, is paralyzed? What do you mean by that? So if our worth comes in the, our, our physical performance, our yeah. physical, what about someone who's a double amputee, you know? Or they someone got, that, someone they that, got screwed in life, that's what I think. That's your outlook on mm -hmm. things, yeah. And yeah. I appreciate your honesty. No, you I'm know? being so honest with you. Right. I love these conversations. Yeah, I, I just, that was Because I grew up Catholic, so that's why I love having these conversations. Yeah, so I mean, that's, to believe in God, before my mom passed away, she was teaching my brother about quantum physics. Mm -hmm. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is no such thing as an atheist. There is not one human being that. What if I, I told you I'm an atheist? I, I don't. Uh, where did it Where did it come from? Being raised Catholic. No, 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 no not it. your athe atheism. Where did this world come from? Where did matter come from? An atom. Where did the a that atom is up. the atom is matter? What gave those laws of physics that caused the matter to for matter for positive and negative energy in? forces to attract one another? That's a good the question. laws of gravity. I'm not that you know? smart. But I don't think it's God. Where did it come from? I don't know. Well, scientists have a, a, a statement. I'm having a conversation about God. It's a, a definition of the word continuum. And a continuum is uh, space, time, and matter are considered a continuum. It's when something has to come into existence simultaneously and spontaneously. So you don't believe in evolution? There's a microevolution and macroevolution. That a bird's beak will change over the course of hundreds of years to fit in a flower to get some nectar in the Galapagos Islands, that's called adaptation, that's called natural selection. Do I believe that that occurred? Absolutely. But the idea that it all began with a cell that evolved into an organism, into an ape and homo sapien, but yet when you look at the law of conservation of mass and uh, Newton's third law that say that no matter can be created and destroyed and then every action has an equal and opposite reaction, what initial action brought about the reaction that caused the reaction? Or if no matter can be created or destroyed, where did that single cell come from that evolved into an organism into ape and homo sapien? Right. So that's it, you know, point. Right. So this, these are things that I begin to ponder and realize, like, okay, uh, it's not that I don't believe in God. It's that I don't want to believe in God. Because if I start believing God, that means I'm going to have to quit the pornography. I'm going to have to start respecting authority. I'm going to have to start actually addressing my iniquity and being real with myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that, man. I just wanted to keep living the life that I was living, 23 years old. Yeah, I just wanted to keep walking my own sin, you know? It's been a pleasure. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan, yeah. It's an it's honor to meet you, Ryan. Absolutely. I appreciate your genuineness, you no. know? Bro, don't say that. What are you talking about God right now? Don't tell yeah. me Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I believe that there is a, a genuineness in your heart, and if you keep seeking, God's not going to turn that away, you but know? If, I love, if I'm a good person, where are you going? She has to come back to work later. But if I'm a good person, but I don't, I don't accept God as my Lord and Savior, I'm not going to heaven? And I, I again, I'll ask you, do you honestly think you are, that it, you are a, good a good person? I think I'm a good person, Have you ever done anything wrong? Yeah. Fuck yes. Right. So when we you stand before God, heaven is a perfect place for perfect people. But what if I'm a good person? You have to be perfect to go to God, to go to heaven? Heaven is a perfect place. Nothing impure will enter in the kingdom of God. And there's only two people, two types of individuals that will get into heaven. Perfect people or forgiven people. And none of us are perfect, but we can all be forgiven. All right, next question. If I murdered you right now, if I shot you in your fucking face, right? You're dead. And then he shot me in my face. Am I going to heaven even if I was a good person? You know that Jesus said even right if... Before, but listen here. Right. I shot you. Right before he shoots me, I say, God, I'm so sorry I shouldn't have shot him. I repent. I'm so sorry. Jesus takes it deeper. It, yeah, than, yeah, but yeah, if yeah. I meant it, if I meant it. Right. Let's if I meant it, am I going to jail? Let's, am, let's am look, I gonna, it doesn't matter what I say. It, like, I'm again, asking you what your opinion is. That's I, all. My opinion is trash. I just want to know what the word of God says. But I want to know what your opinion is right now. You're out here talking about God. Right. I'm pretty sure every sin is the same. And well, stop, if you stop, guys, stop. The, the word of God, Jesus said, it. you've heard that it was told, do not commit murder. I tell you, even if you harbor hatred within your heart. But if you pointed a gun at me and I shot you in the face. Listen. He said, I tell you, you've heard it was said, do not commit murder. I tell you, Jesus said, even if you harbor hatred within your heart towards another human being, you've already committed murder in God's eyes. So what if I'm in the military and somebody tells me to go kill somebody? There's a difference between killing and murdering. No. Yes, there is. What's the difference? It's justifiable. Who justified it? But God. It's, it's there. God justified it? But the person that told me to go kill that person, if I'm in the military and somebody said, yo, that guy's bad, go kill him. Yeah, then you're a How fool How do I know he's bad? You're, you're a fool for listening to what, what he said. The military. You know? I'm a fool for listening to what they told me to do. It's I'm a fool for taking a for taking a an a, order. An it's order. Called, but again, it's, there's justifiable murder, and then there's killing. So what's justified? So if a kid comes in with a gun to shoot up your entire school, yeah. and he's about to just lay it into an entire classroom mm -hmm. and your teacher. That's justified. Is that murder or killing? I'm asking you. Is that murder or killing? If they killed me. No, no. If, or you, if, I if you them. take him down, 
and he's about to just lay it into every single person yeah, in that classroom. That's saving everybody in the school. That would be murder. That you would think not that's be murder? murder. That would be killing. You right? think that's killing? Murder would be it, it's um, premeditated, right? They use that word in the court of law, premeditated mm -hmm. murder. Okay, next um, question. So hold on, let me ask what you think about Finish. it. Jesus said, if you harbor hatred in your heart towards another human being, you've already committed murder in God's eyes. That makes but what every if I've person. I've never met you in my entire life. You came up to me. And you pissed me the fuck off, and I pulled a gun out of my pocket and shot you in the face. Uh, even if you thought a hateful thought about but me, but I've said, never known you in my entire life. It's right. not premeditated. It's, it's not premeditated. Even if you didn't pull the gun, even if you just thought something but bad it wasn't about premeditated. me, premeditated. Listen, even if you just thought something bad about me, Jesus said you're already guilty of murder. So I'm not going to heaven, even if in my entire life I've been a good person. Not going to heaven. Not going to heaven. Uh, yeah, brother. What, what about if I didn't murder you? What about if I've been a good person? Even if you thought. What about if I've been an honest person, a good person? I've taken care of my family. I've taken care of my friends. I've been an honest human being, a good person my entire life. But I never went to church. I never, I never went to mass, and I never accepted God as my Lord and Savior. Am I going to heaven? No. That's where we disagree. Even if you didn't stop at the last part, if you stopped the last part rather. If you've been a good person your entire life, you've always taken care of your family, you never had a hateful thought, you never committed sexual morality, you never looked at another person with lust. That person doesn't exist, man. But what if they do? Then they'd be in heaven. So they would be in heaven, even if they didn't accept God as their Lord and Savior. If they've never committed a That's single not sin. Correct, stop. If, if, they've, if, never, they, stop, if, they, if stop. they've never committed a single sin. If they've never if they've never accepted God as their Lord and Savior and they've never committed a sin, would they go to heaven? Yeah, because they don't need the cross. But that's kind of contradictive, am I not? No. Why would it be contradictive? Jesus died on the cross to wash I didn't away our sin. Him as my Lord and Savior. But you lived a completely perfect life. Perfect. Absolutely. So I go to heaven. Yeah. Even if I've never accepted God as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Why you'd want to spend eternity with Him if you didn't want Him on this earth doesn't make sense to me. But if you've never committed a, a sin in your entire life, you lived a completely perfect life. You've honored God, your body for the glory of God. You're going to be in heaven because you don't need the cross if you lived a completely perfect. What if life. I have committed sins? I've felt like I felt re I felt regret. I felt guilty. This is wrong. I know it's wrong. I forgave myself, but I didn't ask God to forgive me. And I'm a after that, I'm a good person. Let's say I've murdered him when I was 20. Right. And so I died when I'm 40. Let's but just, I haven't committed a sin since then. Let's just but leave, I've never accepted right. God in my Lord and Savior. So let's just leave God out of it. Let's let's bring you to the court of law here. Uh -huh. So you lived a completely perfect life ever since you committed that murder. Never sinned again in your life. The police finally come and catch you two decades after you committed that murder. Mm -hmm. And they stand, you're on trial. And you say, Judge, you know, I, I've been a really good person since then. I've helped out a lot of people. Listen, the last two decades, I've lived a completely perfect life. Donated every single article of clothing, my wardrobe to a homeless shelter. Gave all my time to an animal rescue league. Will you please forgive me? Look, that murder was 20 years ago. I know his family is still mourning. They're never going to be the same without him. I, I've, I've been a good person. Like, I've changed. So, uh, I'm just, I'm off the hook, right? Mm -hmm. What's the judge going to tell you? You tell me. Because I think, say no, in, you your, in your opinion, they're going to say, yeah, you're good. No, he committed in, in a murder. the Bible does not say when you repent, you're good, you're going to go to heaven? Because of the cross of Jesus Christ. If you really believe it, if you really believe it and you really repent, are you going to go to heaven? If you put your trust in Christ. It's repent and believe the gospel. What is the gospel? When Jesus died on the cross for our sin, rose again from the grave. Right. So it's repent and relying on his sacrifice for us, knowing that but we're really going to change. Mm -hmm. You better not. Are we going to still fall short and have sinful thoughts in our mind after we've committed our life to Christ? Yeah. It's a battle we wage war. It's constantly a battle in our flesh and our mind. But again, the more closer you go to God, you'll sin less and the worse you'll feel about it. So there isn't a person on this earth that has lived without sin. We need the cross for salvation. That hypothetical situation of the perfect human being that will one day, yes, be in the kingdom of heaven, even though they never committed their life to Christ, that person would be in heaven because they don't need the cross. But again, that person doesn't exist. Another hypothetical. I have to ask this. If I pull a gun in my pocket, shot him in the face, and right before the cop shot me, I said, God, I'm so sorry, I repent, you're my Lord and Savior. And I really meant it. I really, really, really did. Would I go to heaven? That's an, that's uh, that's before God. You, I'm, I'm not you playing God in that situation. I'm asking you what the Bible says, what you what you live by, what does it say? According to the word of God, right. if, if we repent. Would I go to heaven in that situation? Well, the word repent in Greek, it is the word metanoia. Mm -hmm. The prefix meta, just like in the word metamorphosis, it means to change. Mm -hmm. And the latter part. So if I did, I the, shot him in the face. Well, the latter part. I was part, like, damn, that so was fucked up. I feel bad. I'm changing. We have a noia, which comes from the word denoia, which mm -hmm. in Greek that references our mind. So the word meta, metanoia, it is means to change one's mind. And so when our mind, because it's the very control mechanism of our life, once our mind changes about a certain practice or habit, our life will follow accordingly. So that person that gives their life to Christ on their deathbed, they didn't have time to carry out their repentance with good deeds, but they meant it in their heart. That yeah. if they would have had more time, their life would have looked different. But I don't have more time. Right. So am I going to heaven? According to God, yes. 
that's where we disagree. And I, I do appreciate this conversation. Though. Yeah, you're not you're not agreeing with me. I'm not. You're agreeing. I'm with, not. You're disagreeing with the Bible. Correct. I am. Yeah. But you are the man. I do appreciate. I'm, this I'm a nothing. I'm I nothing. Love I love you and more. I love God. No, I don't. I'm not. No, I don't love not love God. That was our day. But I love you, and I love people, and I think I everybody you. should have you. And you know, one day, huh. you are gonna love God. Maybe I will. What's and your name? Joshua. Joshua. Yes, and if I love God one day, I'll tell you it's because of Joshua. Uh, it's uh, you just do it because of Jesus, man. Appreciate you, man. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan. And yours? Marcos. I appreciate you. Uh, your time with I appreciate the conversation for real. This has been a long I, time, and I took your time up, but I do appreciate it. And I. You be safe out you're here. You're worth it, man. I appreciate you. Amen. Thank you again, actually. Be safe out here. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll be with you there. You have a better one.